camels and llamas, so different and living on different continents, yet able to breed together and produce young. Examples abound of species that can be bred together, zebras with horses, tigers with lions, potatoes with hot peppers and so on. This amazes biologists. Based on modern rates of change, new species should quickly lose their ability to interbreed with other species. So, modern species that interbreed must have formed recently and rapidly. It's amazing that camels and llamas, though separated by oceans and thousands of miles, came from the same parents in relatively recent times. So how could such major changes have arisen so rapidly? This is a mystery to biologists because they don't see such widespread rapid change today. And they don't know of any natural process that can create the biological information necessary for such changes. The biblical account of creation may provide the answer to this mystery. Breeders have long known that domesticated plants and animals possess a huge reserve of information that can produce a stunning variety of shapes and functions. Most modern dogs, for example, came from just a handful of breeds in the 1600s. And these dogs have a wide range of features that suit them for a wide variety of environments, from sledding at the poles to hunting in the desert. And none of that variety was put there by humans. The information was already built into the dogs. Such variety of information can be found in cattle, pheasants, pigeons, apples, orchids, and many other domesticated plants and animals. If all the non-domesticated animals on the ark had this same wealth of information, then we could understand how a single pair of cats could produce all known cats. Today, crossbreeding between domestic cats and wild cats, between cougars and leopards, between lions and tigers indicate that all modern cat species are the same created kind. The original cat kind carried all the information necessary to build the variety of cats we see today. But where did this information come from in the first place? The Bible reveals that God created all the animal and plant kinds in the beginning. And we're now learning that God placed a huge amount of information within each created kind, allowing them to diversify into the myriad of plants and animals we see today. The information was there, all there, right from the start. This is not evolution from a lower form of life. It's creation by an all-knowing, all-powerful, infinitely wise creator who is worthy of our worship and praise.